So, welcome back to another episode, and I had to dig deep into my closet to find this Mass Effect shirt, and I've never worn it, and it's a little big. I've lost a, a bunch of weight lately, I've been meaning to, and it's working. This shirt is gigantic. But anyways, I'm here to talk about Mass Effect Andromeda. And yeah, let's talk about Mass Effect Andromeda. I've been playing a review copy uh, way past the early access that uh, the, you know most people have been playing out there. What do I think about this game? Let me start off by saying I'm a Mass Effect fan, but I'm not like a, a crazy fanatic about it. I've, I've enjoyed the Mass Effect games, but let me say in Vancouver here, we have a very big fan base within the city, a huge fan base. I'm not joking, sometimes when I look out onto my veranda, N7 shirts and hoodies everywhere. I've met so many Mass Effect fans in Vancouver here. Uh, guys and girls, every single type of person. So many people love Mass Effect, and I've never been one of those people that's like, I'm a Mass Effect nut job or anything like that. Uh, I got given me, given me this shirt uh, a while ago, but I want to talk about it. I must say, first of all, that I was very much looking forward to Mass Effect Andromeda. I was looking at all the, you know, the E3 trailers, every trailer that came out, I'm like, this game looks absolutely amazing. And uh, so anyways, let's, let's start off, shall we? Let's start off. Let's start with the graphics. Let's start there. Now, I'm going to start with the good first. I'm going to start with the good because, yeah, it's this is Mass Effect Andromeda. There's a lot to talk about. The graphics, the environments, some of the environments are pretty cool, like inside your spaceship and inside like space stations and things like that look pretty good. No complaints there. Okay, I just gotta get to it. I know everybody's talking about it online and I've been seeing it for the last uh, few days here playing this game. The facial, yeah, the, the faces in this game are terrible. They are absolutely second to none terrible. And let me say, I wanna say this, I'm not a graphics whore, I'm not. But when you're looking at Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and we did a side-by-side -side comparison on them, and then you play Mass Effect Andromeda, you're like, what the hell has happened? And that's the, this is what we get into. This is such a confusing game that way, graphically. I, I, I really, I was having such a hard time coming in to do this because I'm so disturbed by the graphics. I'm so disturbed. It's like, I don't know who did this. It doesn't feel like the same Bioware who did this who did the other Mass Effect games. I like the, uh, the, the the look in the other Mass Effect games was like a lot of darks and it looked, uh, you know, a lot of blacks and it looked amazing. The coloring, the shading, all of that. When characters were interacting with each other, you felt really a part of that conversation where that's where the graphics are linking into here. The graphics are so bad at times that it completely takes you out of the game world. So let's talk about the facial animation stuff to begin with. Let's talk about that. And the, never mind the running animation and the facial. I figured out what it is with the face that's wrong. The eyes. The eyes are just soulless. They look like they're looking through characters. Whenever your main character, if it's the, uh, you know, you can play, play as a few characters, uh, Scott or Sarah, whoever you're picking, they look like they're staring through other characters. You never feel that they're really a part of that scene. They d it just feels so tacked on. It doesn't feel like you're really in the conversation because these characters are like staring like through you. They're like, they're like, it's like me looking at the camera like this. Hey, how you doing over there? What's going on? The same thing. I, you know, when it first started happening, I was like, oh boy, like, geez. Like, it's not just that the characters are not good looking characters. The characters are fine. It's just that they're their body motions, like the way the characters run, like it is humorous to say the least. It's in, it's it's embarrassing. When you're running around the ship and you're like going like this, and he's stopping like, hey, how you doing? And you're looking right through the care uh, camera, looking right through the characters. It's disturbing, disturbing from the point of view that you as the player are completely taken out of the experience. And that is the problem with the graphics, and it's a, it's a very glaring problem. The characters look like they're made out of plastic. They don't look like they're shaded. The past Mass Effect games look better than this. And sorry, I'm going on about the graphics, and I'm going to get into the story and the gameplay in a bit, which is a bit redeeming, uh, a, a little bit. But I, I was just so 
disturbed. There was a, there was one scene where a character is standing there, and his uh, like his fabric is blowing in the wind, but there's no wind, and it's bizarre. He like, and there's so many graphical problems, and that's the that's the thing, right? A character's sitting talking in front of a bush, and the bush is like blurring and glitching, and you're like, you, I, my problem with Mass Effect Andromeda is. I'm so looking forward to getting to the, the science fiction world, and I, I like, I love uh, Mass Effect now. In retrospect, I said I, you know, I was a massive crazy fanatic, but my God, it makes the old Mass Effect games look like incredible uh, compared to this. It's I don't know what happened, and we're talking like Mass Effect is a big enough game that it should be setting the bar for graphics. I remember when I saw Mass Effect in 2007, I was completely taken back by the graphics. I was like, look, look at this game, look at this, the sound, the design, everything. Where this, it's like plastic people are running around talking to plastic aliens, and you're not involved in any of that. And the problem is the voice acting is incredibly good. The voice acting is not bad. It's a, yes, it has its bad moments as well, but overall, the acting for that point is, is good. It's just the characters, the way they're moving. It's like they're, it's almost like your main characters are the aliens and they're humans. It's really disturbing. I, I could do a two hour rant about the graphics and, and it really bugged me, man. I was mad. I've been nothing but mad and angry playing this game because I want it to succeed. I want to really get into this world and it won't let me. It just won't let me in. Okay, let's get into the story. How is this story? The story is not bad. We're going to go colonize and, you know, a brand new star system, the Andromeda star system. And we have a brother sister team there. And you can play to either one. I mentioned that just a bit earlier. And when you get to this uh, part of the galaxy, it takes 600 years to get there. There are some issues within the galaxy, which is fine. So we can go to different planets, scan different planets, land on different planets, take your ship there. You traverse the land in a lot of different ways. You're introduced to new alien creatures, brand new cultures, all the things you expect in a Mass Effect game. How is it? It's not bad. Uh, it's just, I found, I just, for some unknown reason, that's not so unknown, I couldn't get really into the story. I, I really tried. I really wanted to enjoy the characters and I don't really connect to them. I don't really connect to a lot of aspects in this game, but so anyways, that's the basic storyline of it all. And how is the gameplay? The gameplay is not bad. The run and gun aspects are great. Ducking, cover, using your abilities, sending your other two teammates after enemies, having them be defensive or uh, offensive, you know, Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's good. It's fine. The running animation is a little wonky running around. You have your jetpack, which adds some other strategic attacks to, to everything. And yeah, how is that? How is combat? Is it fun? It's not bad. It's okay. It's not bad. It's, I think the, the thing with uh, Mass Effect in general here is, is it's very average. It's a very average game, and it's been a sad game for me because we've come off Neo, Horizon Zero Dawn, Zelda, so many great games, and unfortunately, Mass Effect has felt like the combo breaker to me. Let's talk. For Mass Effect fans, for the fanatical Mass Effect fans, are you gonna enjoy this game? I really hope you do. I, I think there's a story there. There's a lot of effort put into the story. I don't wanna give all the spoilers of all, all that kind of stuff. It's good, the character writing's not bad. There's a lot of stuff going on there. It's a Mass Effect game, but it doesn't feel polished like a Mass Effect game. So if you're going in uh, saying, I'm not worried about graphics and, and all that, and I'll take the world for what it is, I think you'll enjoy it. But for a next-gen Mass Effect game, I, was, I think I was expecting a little bit more, and I've really been disappointed uh, overall. And you know, it's been very, hard for me to come in and talk about the negative aspects of the game is because I was really looking forward to it. I really was and I was playing the game and I'm like, uh, eh, it's okay. It's it's like, you know, past Mass Effect games with a lot of the play styles, stuff like that. So you'll be happy if you want another Mass Effect game, you're going to get it. But it's it's got a lot wrong with it. There's a lot of weird issues that you're going to encounter and 
I just found that when I played the first bunch of Mass Effect games, I was so into the universe and the world and the characters, where I find I'm just not the same. I'm, it's very superficial. I land on a planet, I'm like, okay, there's just some enemies here, shooting them, scanning things, looking around the land, collecting items, making new weapons, all that kinds of stuff, and it's, it's fine. But I guess from the Mass Effect franchise, I expected a lot more and I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. So little, little disappointed, but for hardcore Mass Effect fans, I think there's enough there to enjoy that you'll definitely get something out of it. And I really hope you do. I get no pleasure coming here and saying that I really didn't care for the game as much as I was hoping that I would. And I cannot believe this is Bioware. I, I'm really, I, I'm shocked and I'm a little disheartened by this. It, it feels like the game's not finished and there was another year of development they needed to do. Like there was one level I'm, I, the, you know, we shoot an enemy and it's, and it's not, we didn't freeze the enemy. It's just stuck in the air. We're like, it's a gl glitch and there's glitches all over the place. Uh, very disheartening, very disheartening. And I, so sorry guys, I hate to come in here and just give a bummer review. That's not, this is, you know, usually I try to review games I like and I really thought I was gonna like Mass Effect and I'm, I get no pleasure coming here saying that I've been really disappointed by it. So anyways guys, until next time.